The A5 Global Platform, PQ35, connects the Skoda Octavia with the Volkswagen Golf and Jetta 5th Series, Touran, Tiguan, EOS and Golf Plus, Seat Leon, Altia and Toledo and even the Audi A3 in second generation Audi TT. Heredity in all its glory. This is about the body of the Octavia. The cars of the Volkswagen concern have had no problems with the ability to resist corrosion for a long time, and Skoda is another confirmation of this, artisanally repaired cars do not count. Before restyling in 2008, the appearance was more angular, with different headlights and taillights, a hood, and a different dashboard in the cabin. But most importantly, the range of engines has seriously changed. And, alas, just as traditionally, the paintwork does not always manage to cling tenaciously to well-galvanized metal. If you do not tint the chips in time, ulcers can go, leaving bald spots on the hood, sills, wheel arches, and the bottom of the doors. Chips of paint are better to tint without delay, so as not to grow. In pre-styling cars older than 2008, paint also comes from unsuccessful door seals, and peeling door moldings and cloudy headlights often add a tired look. Poorly protected from moisture contacts in the number plate lights, 10 euros each at the rate of 63 rubles for 1 euro, sometimes rot in just 2 or 3 years, and due to the failure of the switch under the brake pedal, 15 euros, the brake lights stop working. Chrome finishes lose their luster after 5 or 6 years, the benefit of decorative elements with it is at least. After 5 or 6 years, did they start to fail or did the power window control unit, central locking, drives and heated exterior mirrors fail altogether? This disease is also familiar to the owners of many Volkswagens. First of all, check the wiring between the driver's door and the body pillar. The harness brakes at the bend, wiring became more reliable only in 2011. The wiper mechanism is able to fail after 100,000 kilometers. Not past Octavia and a lot of other corporate ailments. In pre-styling copies, the head unit of the audio system is often naughty, 500 euros. Regardless of the year of manufacture, the microswitches limit switches built into the door locks, 150 euros each, are flimsy, while the control unit does not see the opening and closing of the door. The trapeze of the wipers is rather weak, 200 euros which you need to be ready for wear after 100,000 kilometers, and for versions with the wiper on the trunk lid, it is also at risk. After 60 to 80,000 kilometers, the climate system fan motor, 100 euros, is also capable of squealing in a proprietary Ziggly style, lubrication, as a rule, saves for a while, since craftsmen have long gotten used to changing only bearings. The design of the assembly was finalized, alas, only at the end of the production of the second Octavia in 2012. Inversions with automatic climate control Climatronic. After three to five years, the weather in the house can spoil both the damper actuators and the unit itself. It happens that in the fifth year of life, micro cracks appear in the evaporator of the air conditioner, and for instances of the first three years of production, the compressor, 300 euros, is not reliable. And in winter, be sure to make a good habit of shaking off the snow from your shoes before driving, otherwise, if a large amount of ice accumulates, the plastic hinge of the floor gas pedal, 100 euros, may simply fall apart. The cat wept for the diesel models that arrived from Europe, less than 3% of all modifications in total, which is a pity, they are not bad, although not without sin. The main stain on the reputation of a 2-liter diesel engine with a common rail power system on Octavia not older than 2010, 1.5% of offers, was the cracking of fuel lines due to defective materials on copies of the first year of production, which caused a service campaign at the end of 2011 for their replacement. It happens that the valve cover seal leaks, the USR valve, 280 euros, overgrows from short trips and fidgeting in traffic jams, and with a run of 110 to 130,000, the intake manifold and water pump were replaced, 170 euros for the original and from 50 for analogs. But usually worries with this engine come down to replacing the nozzle seals after 100 to 120,000 kilometers, 15 euros per set. But diesels 1.9 and 2.0 on copies made before 2010 are riskier to choose because of the expensive pump injectors and the power system, 700 euros a piece. In addition, the 2-liter unit was marked by warranty replacements of cylinder heads due to cracks and the destruction of the oil pump drive after 80 to 100,000 kilometers. Because of this, the engines that were on a starvation oil ration could get a wedge. And for any of the diesel engines, a two-mass flywheel, 750 to 800 euros, 
lives one and a half to two times less than with gasoline units, 50 to 80,000 kilometers. The fastest Octavia RS can be either a hatchback or a station wagon. The lowered sports suspension is rendered 30 to 40,000 kilometers earlier than usual, not least because of the lower profile tires. The 2-liter turbo engine of the BWA series with the timing belt, it only rotates the exhaust camshaft, from which the intake is driven by a chain, after restyling was replaced by a CCZA chain unit with the same power of 200 horsepower, both like to eat 1,000 kilometers from 0.7 to 1 liter of oil, but otherwise, in terms of reliability, they are not much different from their less powerful counterparts. Since 2006, a less powerful, but more high dork 170 horsepower 2 liter diesel engine with a very capricious injection system and a turbine with an adjustable nozzle apparatus has been added to the range. We got all the laurels of the long lived 1.6 petrol 8 valve with conventional distributed injection, popular, almost a third of cars, not only because of its availability. Yes, it is rather weak and old. The EAA27 family appeared in the mid 80s and not only survived the previous Octavia of the first generation but in the carburetor version it was also installed on the second Volkswagen Golf and Audi 80. But without much adventure, the motor is able to cross the line 300 to 350,000 kilometers. And before that, you will have to update the timing belt three times along with the water pump, 140 euros branded and from 30 substitutes, an ignition coil, 150 euros original and analogs from 35, and high voltage wires, 10 to 20 euros. A 1.4 turbo engine with a cast iron cylinder block and an aluminum head from the EA111 series, which appeared in 2005, replaced the naturally aspirated 2-liter force. The problem can be reduced by slightly increasing the speed. Other possible troubles are mostly senile, from a number of trivial leaks in crankshaft oil seals. Tanning valve stem seals and coke piston rings can tint the exhaust blue after 120 to 140,000 kilometers, while worn-out valve lifters. 13 euros each, can add extra sounds. Floating idle, a reason to check the nozzles, 90 euros each, and the idle speed controller and clean the throttle. Well, the biggest of the troubles is the formation of cracks in the plastic of the intake manifold that has been tired for 7 to 10 years, 130 euros, due to air leakage bypassing the air filter, the motor starts to work unstably. The all-wheel drive Octavia Scout with a rear axle connection system is 100 to 150,000 rubles more expensive than a regular station wagon. The ground clearance is 4 centimeters more, and the rear springs sag less over time than the other versions. The transmission with the purely mechanical six-speed is practically trouble-free, provided that the oil in the Haldex clutch is renewed every 60,000 kilometers. Better, together with the filter, otherwise the clutch itself and its pump will not be good. Well-tuned sensors save the clutch from overheating, and it serves at least 150 to 200,000 kilometers. The atmospheric 16-valve 1.4 MPI is also good, 6% of offers, but it's just very weak. It's 75 to 80 horses of the weighty Octavia are not always enough even in the city. Here, with a naturally aspirated 2.0 engine, the pre-styling Octavia older than 2008, 5% of cars, is quite smart if it starts up. After all, the early Volkswagen Direct became famous for problems with starting in the cold. Engineers struggled with adversity as best they could, relentlessly releasing new and new firmware for the engine control unit, but the matter is complicated by the tendency of motors to quickly collect carbon deposits on valves and piston rings, regular cleaning of the crankcase ventilation system helps fight the disease. In addition, as with other gasoline Octavius, you need to monitor the cleanliness of the mesh filter in the low-pressure fuel pump in the tank. Formally, a primitive filter can only be changed together with the pump, 150 euros for the original one and one and a half to two times cheaper than analogs. Fortunately, the craftsmen have long learned to update the mesh separately and for only 60 euros along with work. And every 40 to 50,000 kilometers, it is advisable to remove and clean the nozzles, 120 euros, and do not forget about replacing the timing belt, better every 60,000 kilometers, and every other time along with the water pump, which rarely lasts longer. And it still flowers. And the berries fell down along with downsizing turbo engines, the shaft of which completely covered Octavia after restyling. In the engines of the EA111 series with a volume of 1.4 liters, 6%, that appeared in 2009 and 2010 and the occasionally found 1.2 engines, instead of a belt in the timing drive mechanism, 
a chain was used, according to the creator's intention, designed for the entire life of the engine, and before overhaul they are able to pull 200 to 300,000 kilometers. But in fact, a single row long chain sometimes determined this very period, having stretched and overcoming the resistance of a non-reverse blocking and not too persistent tensioner, 25 euros, it jumped over the teeth of the asterisks and sent the engines to knock out after only 40 to 60,000 kilometers. In case of an unfortunate set of circumstances, restoring the engine will cost no less than 2,000 to 3,000 euros, and if you don't want to admire the consequences of the meeting of valves and pistons, hurry up to update the timing drive as soon as you hear the characteristic tinkling of the chain. In addition, the turbochargers were massively changed under warranty for the younger engine, 500 to 650 euros for a repair kit. At the 1.4 engine, they are stronger, although sometimes the bypass valve or control valve hooligans, but weaker pistons. In addition to the poor design of the pistons themselves and their rings, the liquid intercooler is naughty. Not only is it not averse to leaking and leaking coolant into the intake manifold, it eventually stops cooling the air enough due to heat exchanger contamination, it becomes clogged with oil sludge from the ventilation system and valve recycling. And under high load, it can come to burn out of the jumpers between the rings and the complete destruction of the pistons themselves. In 2011, the pistons were reinforced. The design of the timing was also improved by changing the chain, gears and engine cover. The risk of chain jumping was minimized. But in order for the chain not to critically stretch before 100 to 120,000 kilometers, the car does not need to be left on a slope in gear without a tightened handbrake, extremely carefully loaded onto a tow truck, and even more so not started from a pusher. Please note that this applies to all Volkswagen Group cars equipped with the latest generations of chain engines, including the 1.8 engine, which is the most common on Octavia, 37% of cars. In this engine, by the way, due to an overgrown oil separator or a clogged or torn membrane of the crankcase ventilation valve, 240 euros, the upper turbine pipe fogs up heavily and the crankshaft rear oil seal snots. By 2012, the ventilation was finalized. More importantly, at the same time, the piston group was modified, mainly for the sake of the pistons themselves, in which earlier, due to an unsuccessful design, the rings lost their mobility and the engine began to consume oil from replacement to replacement in liters. And at the same time, the timing drive was also made more reliable, having finalized the chain and its tensioner, which was not too powerful for this motor, whose ratchet teeth were cut off before they rarely lasted longer than 90 to 100,000 kilometers. Savings on the quality of engine oil or the timing of its replacement are painful not only for piston rings, but also for the pressure-reducing valve of the oil pump. After 100 to 120,000 kilometers, an emergency oil pressure lamp can tell you about this. And, like all turbine units, at risk are extremely sensitive to fuel quality gentle nozzles, 120 to 150 euros each, a high pressure fuel pump, 200 to 250 euros, its pusher roller and the corresponding camshaft cam, and after 80 to 100,000 kilometers, a pump can leak. 280 to 330 euros for the original and 120 to 150 for analogs. And remember that short winter trips can quickly finish the ignition system of direct units. If the engine is underheated, the spark plugs, from 15 euros per set, will not last long, and the ignition coils, 40 euros, will be sentenced. With manual transmissions, there is less drama, although not everything is rosy, especially on pre-styling Octavius. In a 5-speed 0AF unit with younger gasoline engines, after only 30 to 40,000 kilometers, it can break the clips of the rear bearings of the primary and secondary shafts fraternally united in one housing. After refinement, they began to withstand at least 80 to 120,000 kilometers. In the 6-speed 02S on more powerful versions and the 5-speed 0A4 with diesel engines had a problem with the differential, the bearing turned on the body, and during intensive slippage due to lack of lubrication, satellite could stick to the axle. You should not tear the six-speed gearbox 02Q on RS modifications either. The inline ball bearing of the input shaft breaks its fit in the magnesium crankcase. Since 2008, an additional emphasis has appeared on its hold. The traditional six-speed automatic Eisenwarner TF61SN or 9G according to the German classification, in 2003 developed by the Japanese together with the VAG concern, took root well on Octavia. This relies on a 1.6 engine, 2 liter gasoline engines on copies older than 2008 and parts of 1.8 engines. 
Only a not very efficient heat exchanger can seriously let down with more powerful engines. The bearings and the hydraulic control unit first of all suffer from overheating, and if after 60 to 80,000 kilometers the gear shift becomes shock, you will have to look for 1,000 euros to replace the valve body or try to revive it from Craftsman for 400 euros. And do not forget that the Japanese gearbox is extremely sensitive to the quality and purity of the oil. It is better not to skimp and renew the for life filled transmission at least after 60,000 kilometers. With the same frequency, you need to change the oil in the 6-speed DQ250 pre-selectives, which have appeared on diesel Octavias and on charged RS versions since 2010. These boxes have no less delicate mechatronic hydraulic control unit, 1,700 euros, than that of the Eisenwarner unit, but reliability in the rest is not worse. But the 7-stage robot DQ200, or 0AM according to internal classification, is a clear example of the fact that it is much faster and easier to ruin a reputation than to restore it later. The unit with dry clutches luck, which appeared in 2008, turned out to be completely raw. Problems with mechatronics, 2000 euros, were supplemented by a twitchy character and clutch wear that got out as the mileage increased in just 40 to 50,000 kilometers, the vagaries of sensors and an oil pump in the control unit with the continental valve mechanism. Dealers massively reflashed the brains of the control unit in an attempt to correct the moment of closing and opening of the discs, which floated away as they naturally wore out, changed, and often more than once, clutch packs, 1,200 euros, or even entire boxes, 7,000 euros. Engineers rushed to save the situation with such enthusiasm that every year, or even twice a year, they began to issue new versions not only of the firmware, there were countless of them, but of the boxes themselves. By trial and error, DSG tried to teach how to save clutches, and the most significant pre-selective was modernized in 2012, with proper operation, the units of recent years of production are quite capable of withstanding at least 100 to 130,000 kilometers without replacing clutches and repairing the mechatronics unit, and the resource of the gear part is at the level of 250 to 300,000 kilometers. In the suspension against the backdrop of such turbulent events, relative peace and quiet, True, like a relative of the Volkswagen Passat B6, at first it was bewildering to quickly, sometimes after only 30 to 50,000 kilometers, the wear of the rear silent blocks, 30 to 35 euros each of the levers in the McPherson front suspension. But for restyled cars, the unit has been modernized and can withstand at least 100 to 120,000 kilometers. This mileage accounts for the main troubles, you may need steering tips, branded ones for 40 euros and substitutes from 10 euros, Wheel bearings, both front and rear change along with the hub and cost the same, original 130 euros and analogs 40 each, in shock absorbers, first, the rear ones, 70 and 20 euros for branded and eminent counterparts, respectively, and a little later, the front ones, 145 euros each. Grunting when turning the steering wheel, more often in pre-styling specimens, tired front strut support bearings, 40 euros each branded and 10 non-original ones, complain about fate and if the bushings are worn out, you will have to fork out, for a stabilizer assembly for 140 euros. And the reinforced suspension of slightly raised cars with the package for bad roads was surprisingly distinguished, the rear springs sag, or even burst, 85 euros each. At first, prematurely, sometimes after 70 to 90,000 kilometers, the silent blocks of the rear transverse levers also stratified, but on modernized cars the entire rear multi-link is quite durable revision is rarely required before 120 to 160,000 kilometers, and silent blocks cost only 8-10 euro. At the same time, front ball joints that can be changed separately, 45 euros branded and from 10 non-original, may be needed. Well, the first after 30 to 40,000 kilometers from Octavius older than 2008, as a rule, the racks of both stabilizers are asked to retire, original ones for 40 euros and analogs from 10 euros, after modernization they began to withstand 50 to 80,000 kilometers. In general, you can take the Skoda Octavia, restyled with a veteran 1.6 engine. But the prices on the secondary market will please sellers more than buyers, the simpler and therefore even less troublesome Skoda Octavia tour of the first generation with the same engine, which was produced in parallel until 2010, is cheaper by 50 to 80,000 rubles. And having paid only 20 to 50,000, you can buy a Volkswagen Passat B6.